This is Jill Bates. Thanks for joining me for today's Wednesday webinar entitled BAM, Whole Child Health Education Resources. During this webinar, I will highlight free online resources that you can use in your classroom to promote health and wellness with your students. I'll also briefly describe a few websites you can use either professionally or personally to increase your knowledge of health conditions and medications and show you an annual calendar of U.S. health observances and emergency guidelines document. I recently attended the SHAPE Nebraska State Conference. The keynote was given by Holly Hunt of the CDC. Ms. Hunt introduced me to the whole school, whole community, whole child model shown here. When we look at the model, we see the eight elements of CDC's Coordinated School Health Approach and ASCD's Whole Child Framework. CDC and ASCD developed this expanded model to strengthen a unified and collaborative approach designed to improve learning and health in our nation's schools. Research shows that a strong connection between healthy behaviors and academic achievement exists. We know healthy students are better learners, and academic achievement bears a lifetime of benefits for health. So, let's take a look at a few health education resources that promote the whole child. We'll start at the ESU8 homepage, www.esu8.org. When we start at this home page, we will begin by selecting departments, nursing, and then a menu here with school nursing resource links. We're going to click on that. When we do that, we access a list of nursing and health related resources, which is quite comprehensive and of special use for school nurses. We're going to begin by reviewing the CDC Healthy Schools website. If we look at this site, you'll see a scrolling banner and blue headings that are links that will lead you to a multitude of resources. Um, to give you an idea of available resources, let's just take a quick look at physical activity. So I'll click right here. The CDC states that healthy students or active students are better learners. And physical activity is not solely focused on PE and recess. So let's check out the physical activity during school classroom. We know that brain breaks such as um, Go Noodle or Energizers and academic folks focused movements benefit students because it improves their attention, their classroom behavior, and academic achievement. If we look at North Carolina's energizers right here, we can see that they have classroom-based energizers to help teachers integrate physical activity with academic concepts both at the elementary and the middle school level. The linked documents over here include grade or subject area and complete directions. I suggest that you try one. This website also includes a link to a virtual tour of a school, a virtual healthy school tour, so you could do that, um, and another link to BAM, Body and Mind. This is a health site specifically designed for students aged 9 through 12. Now, if you're using blended learning in your classroom, a lot of these resources would be excellent places for students to go to explore topics, especially here like disease, um, safety, nutrition. Um, plus, there's also a game room down here. I'd like to focus on the teacher's corner. Let's take a look at that. It's loaded with activities, downloads, and related materials. So if we look at the activities, let's look at the first one. If those dolls were real people. 
This one includes a very comprehensive lesson plan that includes objectives, teacher background information, a description of the lesson procedure. It includes a rubric for assessment and some other relevant information as well as the alignment to relevant health and science standards. So let's go back to the nursing site and a second linked site is Fit Sanford Health. So we're going to click on that. Sanford Health is one of the largest health systems in the nation and it's headquartered in the Dakotas. Now it collaborated with WebMD, which you are probably familiar with, to create FIT, a health program developed to empower kids and adults make healthy choices. So if we refine our search by clicking on school, we'll find many FIT programs. We're going to focus on this first one, FIT for Schools. So I'll click right here and we're going to go into it. Fit for Schools is a program designed for students in grades K2 and 3 through 6 to captivate, educate, and activate healthy behavior choices. Teachers can use the daily Fit Tips. They can use Fit Boost or weekly lessons to help students connect their energy levels, emotions, food, and physical activity. Let's go ahead and let's check out the lessons. Daily lessons are grouped for K through 2, the juniors, or grades 3 through 6. And they're grouped into 23 weekly lessons and challenges. You can see them all here. Let's take a look at the junior food choices. This food choices includes an educator's guide. I'll click on that so you can take a look and see what it looks like. Gives you all the information about your lesson, including objectives, standards, um, alignment to Common Core, your student materials, a family message. Here's your student materials that you can print out. Here's your standards alignment, prior knowledge. Again, here's the family message. And then, here's the activities, including links to the slide presentation. Um, each session is about 5 to 10 minutes in length. Doesn't take long. Would be a great way to um, start off your day or stick it in the middle of the day to kind of energize your class. Another reputable site is Kids Health. So let's take a look at Kids Health. Kids Health um, provides information for parents, kids, teens, and educators. So let's go into the kids site. And we see that um, when we open up the site, they have some buttons here for what's hot in the spotlight, the daily brain buzz, and the big question, along with a menu of topics along the side. Um, if we click on health problems, and let's click on blood. What's blood? This is kind of the format of, of the information. Um, it tells you what's in this article so you can see the highlighted topics. You can have it read to you either in English or you can change it into Spanish, either um, written in Spanish or you can listen to it in Spanish. There are embedded videos as well as links to um, vocabulary and related information. And the sites for parents and for teens are very, very similar. The Kids Health in the Classroom shares free PK through 12 health-related lessons plans. Each teacher's guide, we'll go over here and we'll click on grade um, K through 2, human body, and I'm just going to click on hearing so you can get an idea of what it looks like. Each teacher's guide includes um, related kids' health links, 
um, maybe some information about special needs, discussion questions. Um, it includes your objectives, the materials, description of the class activity. Um, it also includes your handouts, your reproducibles. And finally, a quiz and an answer key. The other thing that I really like about this site, um, if we go back to Kids Health in the Classroom, is that there's a tab over here that's, that's uh, titled Special Needs. If I click on that, I can get some fact sheets that have information specific to educators. Um, ex explains the basics about some health conditions that could affect learning in the classroom. So this would be a great place to go just to get kind of an overview of um, the health information that might be affecting um, the students in your class. Two other um, websites of interest to teachers are Medline Plus and HealthFinder.gov. So let's go to um, Medline Plus. Uh, Medline Plus has great information about health topics, um, kind of an A to Z type of a thing for health topics. You can go here and learn about um, medications, and this would be an excellent resource to access information about medications that are currently taken by your students, um, especially maybe information about dosage or side effects. The videos and tools link is chock full of health videos, animated videos that explain maybe things about heartburn or how your heart works, how your heart pumps the blood, as well as videos about surgery. There's also a link to health check tools that will take you to some um, interactive quizzes and questionnaires where students could calculate their BMI, um, perform a concussion checkup, or even learn about dietary facts. This is probably something you might enjoy doing personally as well. And then following that, there is a link for games that opens up a page with links to many interactive health games that would be appropriate for students um, across grades K through 12. The Health Finder website also has health topics A to Z, but what I wanted to point out was this National Health Observances. If you click there, you can access an annual calendar of United States health observances. Um, this would help you plan timely health education um, during the school year. And I imagine that the 2018 calendar will be posted soon. Now remember, all of these resources are at the ESU8 nursing website. Um, on this page, you'll find our school's law for school immunizations, our school screening regulations. You'll also find guidelines for communicable disease control in Nebraska schools, um, as well as a link to emergency guidelines for schools, which is an awesome link that will take you to a downloadable book of emergency guidelines specifically designed for schools. And what I like about this is that it's very, very user-friendly. It's organized in a way that's easy to read and easy to follow. So we'll get through these first few pages. And here you can see it's organized into a colored flow chart so that you can uh, look, at the look at your symptoms and then it will guide you. Are these present? Yes, this is what we need to do. No, let's look over here. Print off a copy for your classroom today and explore all the other uh, resources on our page. And again, our page is www.esu8.org. So, that's it. Thanks for joining me today, and please feel free to contact me via email. If you have any questions or any other ideas for resources that I might include on our page. Again, here were the resources cited during the webinar, and I wish you a very happy and healthy school year.